Um, okay. So shall we do some more streaming of games or something else? Awesome. Let's do it. I'm ready. Woo! Owls! Right. I'm glad we had Rob. He was great. Yeah. Owls. Um, feed by hunting small animals. Uh, I nice. cannot see the screen at the moment, Henry. Do you want to share the oh, screen with the Zoom? Yeah, so <laughs> uh, t -t -t -t. Hello, Blathers. There we go. There's Blathers. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's. I think he's running this in a virtual machine. What are you running this in, Henry? Yeah, I'm running yeah. this in a virtual PC. I can't believe we've canceled Blathers. <laughs> uh, that's that's the main takeaway we got from Rob's talk. Lathers is <laughs> No, we I have mean you should takeaway. you should see what some of my archaeology friends have been saying about the the ethics of of collecting all the art there. Oh I mean, yeah, on the black nightmare. market from red. <laughs> right. I was okay. So the Animal Crossing game I played the most when I was a kid was City Living because I didn't have a console until the Wii um, or any game thing thing besides the computer. And so I hated the red art. And so when this was coming out, I was really excited to play it because I could play it on the TV again, which is what I was used to. And when I found out they added red back, I was just like, no! You can just ignore him. No! Well, Max wants a complete museum, so Max is not ignoring him, and we share a town. <laughs> Why are we not oh, Animal Crossing friends? I'm a little offended. Okay, so, I don't uh, play. Ask Max. Uh, let Max know that. Let Max know that we should also be Animal Crossing friends. In fact, we should be just friends on the Nintendo Switch, anyways. You guys can message him on Discord. You have the technology. Let's. We <laughs> might form. Let's form a group chat. Oh my god. <laughs> How many group chats do uh, we all share? All of them. As, all uh, of them. Uh, Rhea Azula, uh, this is on a... I'm streaming this off of a Windows 7, and Windows 7 has a built-in virtual PC feature, so you can basically run an older version of Windows. You can emulate an older version of oh, Windows man. with sort of the built-in... With right. something that's basically built into the... into Windows 7. So, uh, if just... I ever stream, it's because I have an old computer. Because you can buy them for 50 bucks off eBay, and they work fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this, is a, yeah this, <laughs> is a, this is, I believe, Windows 90. Oh, no, it's a Windows ME. Close enough. Yeah, this is, the, this is actually the uh, version that I had back when I was a, back when I was a young lad uh, playing the Eyewitness games when I was, like, six. I probably should have gotten yep. Windows 98 because Windows ME is apparently a broken, buggy mess, but it never bothered me, and it doesn't impact this, so. Hooray! Let's take a look at the powerful legs and feet. I love how there's an owl whose common name is the Powerful Owl. Right? Yep. Iconic. Tough! Okay. Owls. Okay. What is the best kind of bird of prey? Vultures. I will make a hard Bear. case for either New World Vultures or for either New World Vultures, Stellar Sea Eagles, or the Secretary Bird. I will. I am a falcon person. I just love falcons, they're so cute. Sea eagles are just awesome, though. That is However, true. The actual best bird is probably the kakapo. As someone who has the best bird in their apartment, I'm insulted. At least, you, at least those are in the same quote-unquote order. That's okay, yeah, sure. So we can all agree! Mean Parents win! <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm I am hardcore in Team Hornbill, so. I mean, I if I'm gonna be honest, while my favorite individual birds are the ones I live with, my favorite group are penguins. 
penguins. Hornbills are just really super neat. Toucans are fun. I don't want to start a toucan war, so I will remain silent on the issue <laughs> of toucans. Ooh, no! yes, the Putu. No, I want to hear your controversial opinion, Blair. <laughs> like, controversial opinion about toucans. Yes! <laughs> is that all the toucan stands in the Facebook meme group Wild green memes for ecological fiends. <laughs> Ruined! <laughs> Animal themed. <laughs> Animal themed months. And here's why. Light. <laughs> oh, That's far your nose. Warm. <laughs> not only did they make a henner. For two kind month. That's fine. They waged memeological war <laughs> on any meme that was not immediately related to two cans. Blair, you, you did see Ant Month, right? <laughs> I mean, out of that, now we have the entire Listen, ant group, so. The ant <laughs> group will not be vilified. As someone who is part of the ant colony on Facebook, Two cans are worse. Here's what. Here's what. <laughs> no, I'm saying the ant. No is a other group in wild green memes ever got the group name to change solely to the animals that they were talking about. And like, uh, I was. You know, I was bringing up the ants as the good guys because they moved to another group. Okay. I mean, they're yeah. Gonna make Eric I mean, if they're, I mean, if the toucan stands there. are gonna make a toucan cult, where they, uh, where they, where they praise toucans and eat Fruit Loops, uh, go right ahead. Just not in the main group. Here's the thing, though: they haven't done what the ants did. They stay in that group, like, and the the, the thing is that this happened all before the ant bullshit came up. The toucans hey. were it's there. It's not bullshit. It's art. Traitor. <laughs> lift, the camps, lift the trainer. Lift! Metro! Toucan meme. They made the group toucan themed for two months. Here's the thing if you get a group to change its name, that means you are stuck with that name for 60 days on Facebook. For 60 days, the toucan cults ruled wild green memes for ecological fiends. And since then, I have had a disdain for toucans. I think toucans in general are cool. I like the fact that they have a rigid outside beak and a really soft inner beak, and it makes their beaks hard as hell. But I can't help but look at a toucan and immediately feel an unquenchable amount of rage related specifically to the toucan wars. Fair enough. I, Let's watch an owl. I would just like to remind that everyone. Is my, that is my rant about Most toucans. Feed on land animals. Speaking of the whole Facebook only letting you change your name to 60 days thing, back when I was still spelling my name without the I, long story, don't worry about it. Um, that was when the movie The Meg came out. And in no! the talk, I changed my name on Facebook to Peggy, and then I was stuck with it for two months, even though I realized it was not the correct name. Do you guys remember that? Yes, like, I do. Yes, I remember that. That was awful. Do not change your name on Facebook. Do not do it unless you are sure. <laughs> Just don't. <laughs> Anyways, here's Wonderwall. Yep. <laughs> Most owls feed on land Did you know animals, parrots can but this nocturnal fish covers, owl feeds on prey of a very different kind. <laughs> I mean, parrots can do and a lot to of shit, riverbank perch, And then swoops down into the water to snatch the fish just below the surface. That is true. That is very true. Owls can also do a lot of shit. Like Hi, Grand, Grand Arbiter of Taste. We had a wonderful toes, discussion with Rob Theodore about uh, museum science and the Sedgwick Museum and 
uh, outreach in paleontology, but you missed it because you left for an hour. Um, and now we're uh, looking at the Augsburg owl. Yep. Owl. Owl. During the 1500s and 1600s, blah, 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 blah. Owl. Ellie is hanging upside down in her cage, just in case anyone that's, wanted an update. That's one of the really neat. That's one of the things I really like about Eyewitness Virtual Reality Bird, because this is like a taxidermy owl in the game. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's. I think that's really neat. I don't know. I'm... I think the best part about the Eyewitness Game Museum games is just that, like, they make it into a fake museum. Yes. And I and I feel like that needs to be replicated by games. Yes. Uh, for the record, uh, Meg and I have been uh, pondering <laughs> doing a spiritual successor to the... Uh, you say pondering, but I have messaged you multiple times in the past six months saying we should work on this, and you never responded. Oh, yes. Uh, that's because <laughs> the main uh, the main setback is the fact that uh, is the fact that neither of us have any skills in making visual assets for the game, so if anyone... Doesn't seem to stop EA at all. <laughs> I mean... Uh... <laughs> So, if anyone does, now you know what we want to do. We want to make a game. The end. I can, I, <laughs> I, can the, I can deal with the programming and sound. Song of Brimps. Yeah, that's Sorry, true. Sorry, I'm making noises because I... Am full of hatred for Google Earth right now. Valid. Let's look at the syrinx. The syrinx. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alternate universe where Mr. Owl and Blathers are the same guy. Yeah, like, let's talk about the fact that owls are always represented as the smart bird when they are some of the dumbest birds. I mean, like, then again, consider, period. I mean, the three owls that come to mind when owls are the smartest birds are Blathers, Mr. Owl, how many licks does it get to take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop, and <laughs> Owl from Wee the Pooh, and all three of those are actually morons. Like, I just... I just want people to real like, so the stereotype is bird brain is stupid, right? Except birds are ridiculously smart as a group because of the whole high neuronal density thing. Like, there are more groups of individual kinds of birds that have what we would call, even though I object to this on the strongest possible terms, high, quote, quote unquote, high intelligence. But we use bird brain to mean stupid, which is ridiculous. Meanwhile, owls actually are stupid, and we use them to mean smart. Do you see my rant? <laughs> I see your rant. Yes. Yeah. And I raise you a toucan rant. <laughs> <laughs> no, your rant was better. Um, I agree. Sorry, what'd you say? <laughs> Do I have to repeat my rant? I thought you heard it. I said yeah, I agree your rant is better. Yeah. Oh, I'm reaching the part of the night Did where you I know? Am. Did you the know? The Wingo Owl can eat my butt. A bird may have more than one song. A song is a specific set of repeated notes and sounds that can be crucial in identifying a bird species. Did you know? Look, yes, I'm, owls I've been are trying extremely to learn... cute. I've been I, keep, trying I keep forgetting that through... you're actually reading something from Eyewitness. Um... <laughs> I keep on wanting to say Eyewitness News. Because fuck well, me. Is, uh, I went this <laughs> virtual reality bird. Because yeah. we're in bird land now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I keep on I've like every time learn... you state a fact from the um, from the virtual bird museum, I'm like, oh my god, how does Henry know this fact? And then I look at the screen and I'm like, oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> if you had the learn... eyewitness games when you were if you had the eyewitness games when you were young, you're a smart person. 
Oh my. Okay. I've That's not the only thing learn... that makes you a smart person, obviously, but. <laughs> I've been trying to learn Hebrew via Duolingo for years, and that owl can eat my entire butt. I hate it. Listen, Meg, I'm not sure I wanted to learn that you wanted owls to eat your No! Butt. Don't! <laughs> don't quote me out of context. <laughs> I know. You no. know who I am. Man. Now we've hit the late <laughs> night commentary. No. <laughs> oh my god. It's too late. Being contacted by the Duolingo owls like being in an abusive relationship. Correct. Correct it is. Um what other groups of birds uh that are dumb? Uh, what? unfortunately Ostriches. for everyone, rat types are not geniuses. <laughs> I don't know about Tinamoos, but the rest of Paleo Nefe are kind of dumb. <laughs> and yes, the Duolingo Owl still wants to kill me for forgetting my Japanese lessons. Oh my god. Oh no! I actually <laughs> restarted a while ago since I forgot for months. Oof. Yeah, I need to get back into studying Chinese. I just want to know how to speak Hebrew, and I don't know why it has to be this difficult. Especially since I told the Geological Society of America that when I'm in practice for Chinese, I'm, in it, I'm at an intermediate level, which is still technically <laughs> true. But... <laughs> Do I say I'm at an intermediate Hebrew level? Yes. Is that technically true? Yes. Is it an accurate representation of my skills? No. Thank you, Ellie. Oh my goodness, we got a donation and there's the tiniest Spinosaurus on the donation sheet and I love it so right? much. It's amazing. Thank also, you, Eckerd. Uh, also, Darwin Adam, the link is a JoJo reference. Which link? The the last one I sent. Uh, hey guys, now right now sounds like a fantastic time to donate to one of the many causes we are supporting. Donate and we'll make more JoJo references. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just saw uh, I just saw the meme. <laughs> Donate now and we will never Donate. talk about Donate Google now and you can look at this yet. really nice Art Nouveau harem tile. Appreciate it. Okay, I heard a completely different word than what you definitely said, and it took me a couple seconds to realize that I was not watching anime critiques on YouTube. Oh my god. Oh, so Cash um, Cash asks, Mandarin or Cantonese or other? Mandarin, mainly because that's the only kind of Chinese that you'll get taught in a public school system. Which is a little sad because I would like to learn other varieties of Chinese as well, but I have barely a good grasp on the English language myself. So, and I definitely need, feel like I need to practice Mandarin more regularly. What even is the English language? Can someone answer me that question? It's a mess. It is a mess. <laughs> it's it true. It's a mess. Donate now, and Henry will go to wherever you choose in the Bird Museum. But mm. if you don't, we will continue to stare at the Scarlet Ibis. Look at wading birds. <laughs> Such as herons, storks, flamingos, ibises and spoonbills, avocets and stilts, and plovers. Wade. You know, I saw a cardinal for the first time like four years ago, and I was astonished at at how red it actually was. It was one of those things you, you like see it in the book, and you're like, oh, they've they've clearly probably uh, exaggerated the coloration. No, nope. and then no, no, the cardinal is really that red. I I, I feel know. that missing. I've missed out on some of this by living in Southern California for so long. 
I mean, I think they have, or at least at one point, they had some at the Los Angeles Zoo, I think. So So I grew up in an area with Cardinals, and multiple people have told me that they are shocked either by the red of Cardinals or the blue of Blue Jays. And I'm never going to understand that feeling. I'm just I, adap- <laughs> I, I mean, I was adapted to both while not having ever seen one uh, in, in, in real life. Mm-hmm. You want to know what freaked me out the first time I saw them? Fireflies. Really? Yeah, because so I grew up, again, in Utah, which up until I was a teenager didn't actually have fireflies. And when I was four, I went to go visit some relatives on the East Coast, and they were and there were fireflies. And I was wigged the heck out. <laughs> oh my god, those are bugs. They're glowing and they're everywhere. Yep. They are very good animals though. I love bugs in general, but <laughs> fireflies are very special. My I think I basically had that with uh cicadas. Yeah. Cicadas are pretty whack too. I've like never actually seen a cicada in real life. Like I've seen husks of cicadas, but I've never seen a real cicada in real life. I've uh I yeah, I live on the west I live on the west coast and we don't have cicadas so the first time I went to uh, Chicago it was like what it was like every night the trees start screaming. Okay, here's a real question. Back to dragging blathers. Why is blathers hate every bug. As someone who has arachnophobia, I don't get freaked out by fireflies or most insects. They're cute. Why do flatters have such a big problem? Lazy characterization. <sighs> Some Maybe people he woke up like one day and decided, hmm, yeah, mm, yes, yes. Mm, yes, I think I will hate all bugs. It's just plain. Anyways, Fuff! Top. Toop! My boy. That hoe over there. Isn't one of the, aren't one of the big cicada broods supposed to be emerging, like, now? I thought it emerged last of, summer. One of them, but not the biggest one. The yeah, biggest I think that's one next, one, next year, right, isn't it? The biggest one is coming 17 years after 2007. Oh, that's a while kidding. from now. <laughs> Sorry, I live in the middle of cicada country. <laughs> that's 2034. Yeah, that's a while from now. We're having a big one this year, but not the big one. Wait, is that 2037? Or wait, okay, so. 2007. Look, when you say the book, I'm in California, so the big one invoke so the big one evokes something completely different. Sorry. <laughs> and no, we haven't had the big one yet either. I don't know when we will. Make fun fact: the big one is going to happen in four years. Wait, in where? Where? Because it might That's be different. Fifteen year on. one. Yeah. Maybe this is an Illinois specific one. Oh, I mean, DC coming in as, with the lore. Azula, yeah, same. Honestly, honestly, with a lot of bugs that I find in my house, I'm just like, all right, cool, awesome, and then I just do nothing and let them live there. Why not? We just, we just kind of keep like the spider webs or over by the kitchen because they catch whatever flies make it in. Keeps nope. keeps the fruit flies down. At one point, nope. there were uh. At one point, there were like three or so spiders who uh, had made webs around the uh, who had made webs on my front on, on my front porch. Nope. I understand the nope. I'm sorry. I no. I get. I completely get it. Paralyzing arachnophobia, um, which is unfortunately the spiders are are uh, they're gone now. So, yay. Opinion on house lizards. I would Bizarre. love house lizards, but I live in a place where there are no lizards. I also live in a place with no lizards, and I wish I had house lizards. 
I but I have... heard that house lizards were a thing. I died of jealousy. I brought lizards into my house. <laughs> There's one right over there. I brought a snake into the house one time, and then it escaped into my parents' room. Oof. Uh, that That's was unfortunate. unfortunate. <laughs> there are snakes where I live, but nothing dangerous. At one point, so I once... went. At one point, I went down by the water, and I just grabbed and I just grabbed some crabs and put them in a jar and brought them home, and then took them back the next day. Mm. I don't know why I did that. I also don't know how I was able to just fucking grab crabs off of the off of the beat off of like uh, from under rocks while tide pooling. That's a skill that I've <laughs> lost since. Red. I once so the people who lived like oh, in the no. house behind us. What happened? Uh, there was a donation like six hours ago that got caught by the spam filter. No. <laughs> Did they request something that we had? Oh wait, to wait, do? wait, wait! It was it was from Adam. It was from Adam. Okay. Oh, oh, we Adam, got it. Adam, Adam, we oh, found where fine. your where your message went. Sorry it about, went to the Sorry about that, Adam. Uh, okay. Luckily, Adam is on the team, so he can send it to us another way. Um, yeah. Uh, when I was younger, the people who lived behind us were building like a something. Anyway, they built a huge pit, and I went to look in the pit. And the pit had snakes in it, and I was really excited. And I went to tell my parents, and they freaked out because they did not like snakes. That's it. That's my story. That's the only time I've encountered a reptile in the wild. Anyway, well, I've uh, I've definitely seen lots of tiny. Br I've, I've definitely lots seen lots of tiny brown gray lizards. Oh, they're they're very cute. I want one. I stepped I on a rattlesnake. Uh, you what? Eight what? years ago? Oh seven, my god. Seven years ago? Oh my god. It was so offended. Well, it didn't rattle, which was annoying. It, it rattled after I stepped on it, but like, it was so offended that it just, like, left quickly. Yeah, oh, rattlesnakes no. uh, don't, like, if they feel cornered, they will start to be threatening and like actually strike, but most rattlesnakes, if they have an easy way out of the situation, will nope out of there before even. Let me, let me tell you, I was done prospecting that day. It was just like, you know what, the dinosaurs in the, can wait in the hill for another day. I need to go back to camp. And... I need to go and change some pants. <laughs> also, yeah, at I, one point I need I to go calm down. Sorry. At one point, I found a gar snake and I picked it up because obviously I did, and it was actually super chill. It was it actually it was actually super chill. It was like, well, all right, cool then. And uh, are it didn't very really chill. super try and it didn't really super try to get away, which is nice. But it also left my hands smelling really bad, which unsurprising. Uh, thankfully, we were in an area with uh, with uh, thankfully we were in an area with uh, bay leaves, I believe, which uh, helped mask out the smell. So that was nice. I had the wonderful experience of teaching someone how to hold a craw, a crayfish for the, I was about to call it a crawdad because I don't know what accent I have anymore. Um, a crayfish. I mean, for the don't they all mean the same thing? So would it have mattered? They all mean the same thing. Think but of how I, many I, words there are for the turkey and the cougar. Oh my God. True. But my, um, I don't know, because my mom grew up in crawdad land, and my dad grew up in crayfish land, so I'm just like the little crustaceans that look, look like mini lobsters. Those are the things. But anyway, so um, we were, me and a friend were over by the river nearby um, the town that we're in, and we saw a craw, a, a cray, a, oh my gosh, I'm swapping them up now, a crayfish. And my friend was like, oh my gosh, I'm scared to pick it up because he had never picked up any kind of crustacean before. And I was like, oh, it's just easy. And I picked up the crayfish and he was staring at me like I had just committed a miracle. And I was just like, buddy, you just pick it up behind the big pinchy claws and you're good. <laughs> but it was very fun. It looked very iridescent as well. I have pictures somewhere, but I need to find them first. 
Okay, I have a very important question for the chat viewers and for my fellow streamer. Are you all oh, ready? No. Yes. Sure. What is your favorite penguin? Hang on. Hang on. I have to yeah, look at the list penguin. of penguins first. Humboldt penguins, because I've had the most experience with them. And also... Oh, wait. I, I know what my favorite penguin is. Hang on. Okay. Hang on. I have an image, and I want to screen share it soon. Okay. I did I did the penguin encounter at SeaWorld a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah, SeaWorld bad, blah 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 blah. <laughs> um and there were only three people doing the encounter at that time period. Uh and so we instead of like being rushed through so that all fifteen or whatever got their got their time with the penguin it was it was really slow and really chill and so we got to just spend so much time in the penguin exhibit and the penguins especially the little adelis would just come wandering over and and just just to say hi and and stare at us and uh they're very soft um well so parts of them are soft the the, the flippers are kind of like vinyl if it feels like it's kind of weird um and and they will also peck at anything shiny so uh the woman who was there almost <laughs> lost her bracelet <laughs> to one of the adeli penguins um but they were just they were just so so adorably small and cute that i i just want like an entire room filled with penguins <laughs> to play with okay except for the fact that they reek to high heaven. I have so. a very soft spot for Humboldt penguins personally. Yeah. But I think Blair's ready to share. Uh, yes, Humboldt... I, I have I have my penguin ready. Fun fact, okay, apparently a, apparently another apparently a nickname for the Humboldt penguin is the Pajaro Nino. <laughs> which literally translates to the baby bird. <laughs> okay. Here's my penguin. Um 3 Two, one. Here's my penguin. This is my penguin. <laughs> Why you know. do this? What? I just... Here's the thing. I had that so clearly set up from the very beginning. As soon as, like, as soon as I said, "Ooh, I need to look up a list of penguins," and, and oh wait, I know what penguin I'm looking for. It should have been clear. No, no, because I asked a serious question, and you responded with this. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> but Meg, you've known me for long enough to know. I know, but you could have answered my question. I'm just She's saying. Thing, you said, I can't answer your question because I don't know enough about penguins to actually have a serious <laughs> answer. You don't have to have a serious answer. Thank you, Ellie. I <laughs> Ellie has uh, opinions about the situation. All right, we're going yeah. back to the retro game. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, are you done screaming? Okay, you can go ahead and screen share over <laughs> me, Ellie. <laughs> God. <laughs> the ostrich. I can't even tell what the chat is saying. Bria's are very, very good. Has been forever destroyed. It's Ellie, like if you took really? ostriches and you, remo and you removed most of the curseness about it, you would end up with Rias. Okay. But we could all agree that the best penguin is the killer penguin from Zoo Tycoon 2. Yes. Yeah. I, I have posted a picture of the Adeli penguin they named Jelly Bean. Ooh! It was very Jelly small. Bean. Oh, oh no! My God! <laughs> no! It's so good. Okay, let's see how tiny. Oh! We're not. We can't see the game, Henry. By the way. Okay, hold on. Uh. What are those so tiny, tiny sounds that are happening? That is everybody squeeing over the small <laughs> penguin. It's not just everybody. That's just me. <laughs> 
The penguin was so cute. The penguin was so cute. Blair temporarily went to the shadow realm. <laughs> well, did I tell you guys about the time that I um that I started crying about tiny fossil fish in a gay coffee shop? Oh my god. That is like a hundred percent on brand you. <laughs> Indeed. Wait, oh, I just realized people in the dis in people on the Twitch stream have not heard the Allosaurus story yet. Yeah. Oh. No. Yes. Story time. I have a story time for all of you. Okay. So when I was 16, almost 17, I got my wisdom teeth removed. And at the time, and still somewhat to this day, but at the time I was deeply needle phobic to the point where my parents sought out a dentist who was willing to do a wisdom tooth extraction without using general anesthesia. Because at that point in time, my reaction to needles was a fight response. And my mom did not want to have to deal with me punching the daylights out of an anesthesiologist because I did not want to get needles. Anyways, <laughs> so we found this dentist who um, was willing to do the wisdom tooth removal without anesthesia. They were people that did like a combination of um, not not like nitrous oxide and then some sleeping medication of some sort that they usually use for knocking people out during dentistry. Anyway, so we go on for the consultation and the dentist has this beautiful shelf on display full of fossils. And on this shelf was a juvenile Allosaurus skull that he had apparently received from a paleontologist in the state who was like, hey, I'll pay you or I can get you an Allosaurus skull. And this dentist was like, hell yeah, I'll take the Allosaurus skull. So it has tons of fossil teeth on it, but I was enamored with this Allosaurus skull. So the consultation goes pretty well. And then comes the day of the appointment. And day of the appointment, I have to take the sleeping medication before I walk in. And then they have me in the chair and I'm still like awake. And they have me starting to take in the nitrous oxide. And I'm sitting there with the nitrous oxide and then I fall asleep. And then, and then I wake up in the middle of them trying to take out my wisdom teeth. And in the middle of me waking up and like being awake and then the dentist going, oh shit. They're awake. We have to drug them up some more. I have the following conversation with my dentist. Me. Can I have your Allosaurus skull? The dentist. No. Can I please have your Allosaurus skull? No, you cannot have my Allosaurus skull. Well, if I can't have your Allosaurus skull, I'm going to sing. And then you can't work on my teeth until you give me the Allosaurus skull. So I start singing obnoxiously while they're struggling to get the nitrous oxide back into my nose so that I fall asleep again so that they can continue taking my teeth out of my mouth. And then comes the end of the procedure and they made the most foolish decision to place me like where they were doing my dentistry work right outside of the fossil shell. So <laughs> They're taking me out of the room and I'm, I'm awake enough for them, for me to like actually walk around and like, you know, being drugged up with nitrous oxide and then some other sleeping medication. What most likely actually happened was that I just kind of swayed in the direction of the fossil shelf, but like I had the entire soul consuming intention to take that allosaurus um to take the allosaurus skull off that shelf and take it home with me to the point where they sat me down in the waiting room for my parents to come pick me up and i must have gotten up and tried to walk over to the fossil shelf again and they had to have a nurse guard the entryway to where the fossil shelf was because they didn't just think, oh yeah, no, place the kid in a chair further away so that if they get up and fall over, it won't be right next to the Allosaurus skull. No, they were just like, we're just gonna keep the kid right where they are, right next to the hallway leading to the Allosaurus skull. And we're just gonna have a nurse stand there and make sure 
that this kid doesn't try and get the Allosaurus skull. Be gay, do crime. Yes, and that is my story, and that is my, um, that is my wisdom tooth removal story. Um, <laughs> and it's something that, like, at, at least once a year, there's always a new crowd of people who had not heard the story yet. So it's always fun to, like, tell the story because it's very much one of those things where people usually get to know me first before I tell the story. And then they're like, Blair, I've never, ever, ever doubted your ability to be more on brand than you are right now. <laughs> <laughs> then there was the time when I got top surgery um, when coming off the anesthesia, I apparently told the person who was um, preparing me to go back into the room where my mom was, I apparently told them that I was good at math. So then when we got to the room, they were talking about the anti um, the antibacterial medication I had to take. And then, and then they were like, okay, so you have five, so you have four pills that you have to take for five days. How many pills is that Blair? And I'm sitting there and I've got the like math calculation, facial expression going on. And I'm sitting there and I'm just like, why the hell is this person asking me to do math? I just got out of surgery. <laughs> Funny story about wisdom teeth. They're also wired oh on Discord. God. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, Azula said, God, I can't imagine tooth removal without general anesthesia. I've had a fair amount of teeth removed with just Novocaine, and wisdom tooth removal is just kind of one that, like, I guess I don't tolerate pain well unless it's in my mouth, and then I can tolerate significant amounts of pain. So... I don't know. Dentists have never bothered me nearly as much as doctors have. Fair. Which is weird. But anyway, so this is that's 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 my story of probably like, you know, almost actually attempting to commit a crime while getting to listen to you. You will be happy to know that you drove Adam to tears. <laughs> I drove Adam to tears? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Where? Where? Is this posting or? Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's always, it's always fun telling a new set of people the Alice Sells story because it's so, like, looking back, it's just like, why the hell did I think that was a good idea? And then there are days where I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Yes, go steal that Allosaurus skull. Henry, why the guitar? Why not? Okay, fair. Guitar is fun. Doop doop doop. Also, that's very fair about dentists and needing to not be awake during dentist stuff. I wonder why I wonder why dentists are almost universally reviled. God only uh, no. I mean, the stuff they do to your mouth, it's like, okay, that's Those fairly normal. But like it makes your mouth taste weird. Right. So, I don't know. Doctors always scare me because I've had several interactions with doctors when I was young, where suddenly there were needles, and that was not a good idea for me. I think my worst, I think my worst doctor experience was a pretty traumatic blood draw when I was very young. I did not like that, and I was, and I was also pretty needle phobic for several years, for like a decade after that. Yeah, my, the, um, I think the next time they drew blood, it was relatively okay, and then the time after that, they accidentally took way too much. So, I was just like, I was like weak, uh, walking up out after that. Keep in mind, I would have been like thirteen at this time. Ooh, right. So that sucked. So that kind of sucked. Uh, thankfully, I've pretty much gotten over it. In part because I needed to do regular blood draws because insert 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 personal medical reasons. 
Yeah, I have to I have to let Vampire Sig my blood because I am too um trans to not have vampires. Sorry. It comes down to for me. Uh, yeah, for me the, the needle phobia came because of an unfortunate coincidence of a relative getting diagnosed with autism and then the Wakefield paper coming out. And that was a very <laughs> So, uh, uh, before I could go into kindergarten, they had to get me caught up on all the vaccines. Yeah. So, that is where my deep-rooted fear of, um, fear of needles comes from. There was also the time that they thought I had, um, Kawasaki disease when I just had a combination of flesh and strep. And so they took blood from me. And I was also a small child then, so that was horrifying. Mm. Having is having fun musically. Um, yeah, I think I have just the murder burb. Fuck, 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 fuck! I did not mean to zoom in on the map. Also, sorry for swearing, everyone. Google Behold, Google. the murder burb. Murder burb. Donate, and we will stop talking about our medical histories. Right? <laughs> Donate now, and I will stop. <laughs> Donate now, and Ellie will stop screaming. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> Donate for Ellie. Donate for Ellie. She wants you to. She she wants you to so much. Kiwis are basically pure potatoes. Donate for black birders who are really awesome and look at mm -hmm. birds. And not all the time. black birders are wonderful. Black birders are wonderful. <laughs> And black people should be more involved in nature and in science. And the way that you can do that and promote that idea is by donating. If you donate to these charities, you can help to fix our criminal justice system one bailout at a time, which will help black people subscribe and do things like the earth. Yes. Donate and we'll stop talking about teeth. Adam, you haven't gotten me started on mammal teeth yet. I can go for hours about mammal teeth. And how freaking weird they are. Anyways. Donate and I will send you a personalized picture of Ellie. Ooh, that's a tempting offer, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I'll make it personalized, but I will. Donate and I'll stop. <laughs> Donate and I'll stop. Yes. Oh, really? I will. If you donate money, I will send you your own picture of Ellie. Or Minerva and Ahsoka, if you want my other merch. Just as cute. They're just grumpy. Maybe on. Maybe for Saturday night into Sunday morning, I'll do it. So people who donate to the specific. Henry, you're too Sunday. loud. We can't hear anything else. Like, just, just a smidge too loud. Oh no, I'm so sorry about your father being so gullible as to believe that children could not taste sour things. Oh no! I mean, I eat lemons routinely and have for years. Sour things are wonderful. And Meg, there's a very important question. A uh, hundred, what is that? Nineteen thousand and nine needs to know who is Ellie. <gasps> okay, Ellie is my adorable conyer whose picture has graced the chat a couple times, um, really and I can probably part. grace the chat with it again. But Ellie is my uh, green sheet conyer. I adopted her last year uh, from a shelter. She had been abandoned and probably abused in her former home. And so we had to nurse her back to health and trust. And now she's adorable and happy and is too attached to me. So <laughs> now you're caught up. Um, and so in an attempt to get y'all to donate, I'm happily offering personalized pictures of my baby, such as the one I just sent. in the chat so it would be a better better picture than that one that one has some blurriness to it 
I would I would go all out. Is what I'm saying. And yes, she is. And yes, she is just the best bird. She is very very cute and very snuggly. Like I cannot express in strong enough terms that she is the best. She also bites, and I have lost blood today, but that's okay. Although the although the uh. Although the cockatiels are also very, very cute. And unlike Ellie, yes. they actually like sitting on me. I also Cause... have cockatiels. They are not from a traumatized background. And right now, they are nesting and they think that the plastic eggs we gave them are real. So that's why I have not been talking about them. <laughs> and they are so cute. They are just little birds. Sorry. Sorry. No. So, some, about my sometimes children. I just lose it at how cute small things are, like the birds. Ah! Stream alert. We have seven minutes until we get the Brontosaurus. Our musical act. I was act. wondering when our next stream. A real musical act. Instead of just the guitar to go to ambience, sleep. which is just as much an ADHD <laughs> so thing. Oh, excited. As... <laughs> In a while. Okay. It's also probably good timing because I, I think I think some of us are starting starting to run on empty. Right. Yeah. Sorry that our content has not been fantastic for. Me. I mean, we've also been getting super sidetracked, and that's why we've just been staring at single frames of the old game. <laughs> The two birds that I just posted are my very hormonal and protective cocktails. So they're also wonderful. Deep in they're the rainforest of Livli busy. Gay. <laughs> they are gay birds. They are so gay. Let's watch some macaws <laughs> pecking. Deep in the rainforest of Livli. Uh, yeah, nineteen. Green winged macaws. Uh, double O nine. Uh, Conyers are cliff. not as good pets as some other parrots like cockatiels. But uh, if you are very experienced in bird handling and do your research, they can be wonderful pets. Um, obviously, get one from a shelter. Uh, but yeah, I love Ellie. She's fantastic. And you can hear her talking in the background. Yes. So you have Deep in the rainforest like to to of lowland Peru, green winged macaws oh, pet sure. pieces of fine. hardened okay. clay from a riverbank <laughs> cliff. Of course. The clay is rich that, in minerals. That, that macaw pecking at the rock is fruit me in the field all the time, constantly. <laughs> you know you're just supposed to lick the rock, not not take huge bites, right? Let it depends on the rock. eat rock. Oh. oh no. Look at the birdie. Oh no oh, oh, oh nice. No. It's one of the it's one of the turnaround things. Awesome. Oh. What? Is that a lump bird? It looks kind of like a lump right bird. round, baby. Right round like a record, baby. Right round, round, round. Yeah. Love the crunch. <laughs> I promise Put I will. Now, and Blair will stop too. singing that song. <laughs> Sorry, what? Right round, baby. Right round. Like a record, so baby. Right now, right and this right now. Round. <laughs> Donate now, and we will stop. <laughs> I make no promises. <laughs> but yes, if you donate, I will send you a picture of a bird. I that that is an offer for the whole time. I just need to be notified by the team, and I will happily take a picture of my bird for you. Um, this is a Peruvian headdress. Nice. Yeah. This game actually is a lot about uh, about how about cultural relationships with birds. It's kind of neat. Which is awesome. Really. I love it. Ah, oh, they put woodpeckers and toucans together, as we should. Awesome. Yay! You can hear Ellie trying to get me to go kiss her in the background. Hi. Uh, I have to go. I'll be right back. Okay. The toco Hi, toucan's Ellie. beak may look unwieldy, okay. 
but the bird can use it with great precision soap. when feeding. A toucan plucks some fruit from a tree you, with the tip of its beak. The beak is lightweight with serrated edges that grip the fruit. The fruit is then flicked down the throat. So here's my question for just the fact that we're recording this thing will we be breaking up each um subsection into its own separate videos yeah it's okay. gonna take some work to do that if you want to volunteer for that i mean job. i'll be free after next week because next week is the last week i have a field camp uh yeah East we'll see the great we'll migrators talk about it more but we want to post them all yeah okay cool i was just like un unsure Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd rather have small section videos they save energy than, on their marathon you know, journeys because in this formation so. well I mean this one's currently at 9 hours and 26 minutes so, so we gotta we gotta chop that up like <laughs> just logically speaking Adlers. we gotta chop that up well um, Charles should be here soon yay how in the heck did we end up this long because we're doing this until the end of your day on Monday. Okay, fair enough. Or Sunday night. Yeah. <laughs> like, we've been going this long because we knew we'd be going this long. Just, God damn, I <laughs> love the Eyewitness Museum. That being said, I, I suspect we will uh, crack out most of the past couple hours. Just because... People probably want to hear the talks more than us ramble about we'll absolutely post nothing. Them, but we won't. <laughs> like Don't we're worry. gonna post. We'll we're have... gonna post like a best of of right. the um of the Don't shenanigans. Don't worry, we'll have more talks uh tomorrow. There, we'll so have... many talks. <laughs> Tomorrow we have. Don't worry. Well, uh, yeah, we'll have actual people tomorrow, and then lots of people on Sunday. Right, yeah. Look, so uh, in the next, we have. We have plenty of content. We will post a highlights video. We will post the talks on their own. We will post the entire shenanigans, but people will know what they're getting yeah, into. I know, like, yeah, I know a lot of Vine Sauce uh, <laughs> posts highlights of really, really long streams. It is like condensing yeah. four hours to like 12 minutes. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna discuss this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can force myself to do it. I we we have, have plans. I shouldn't have yeah. said that. Do we know? But... Okay, it's... So okay, in the next, uh... like, 24 hours, we're going to have Christopher Dean, David Fox, Pete Makovicki, Amy Atwater, Karen Chin, Scott Hartman, Steve Brissett, Joshua Newt, and I know... And I know Dino on our stream, so don't worry. It won't just be all of us sticking our hands in a hat and coming up with random things to say all the time. Anyways. Yeah, we have a now. lot of actual science tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> okay, so what's going to happen now is Henry's going to stop streaming, and we're going to pass it over to Charles of the Brontosaurus, who is going to do some music for y'all. So, so the stream will the session? stream will end for a, a minute and then we'll pick it right back up. Yep. yep. Okay. Minus so most of our voices, but we'll still be in chat. Yeah. We're, so we're, we will I'm going to bed. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> um, I guess okay. we'll find out. Okay. Go. All right. See y'all soon. <laughs>